What's up guys, how you all doing? It is an absolutely beautiful day today. Uh, it is 10 to 6 in the evening, uh, been slogging away all day today, finally managed to get out of the house and I wanted to go and uh, surprise little George and pick him up and when I got there <laughs> I was told that uh, I've got a party tonight, not me, him. He's got a party tonight, can you believe that? He's got more of a social life than I have. So. Um, can't see George tonight so I'll have to wait until tomorrow but it doesn't matter I just wanted to kind of go out for a drive and, and um, chance it to see if I could have picked him up or not but like I say he's got a school disco to go to so that should be fairly interesting uh, I'd love to be a kind of fly on the wall for things like that and I'm sure that my parents would have for me as well and I'm glad they bloody couldn't as well because I was a bit of a nightmare but anyway that is that um, I would like to have gone fishing for a few hours this evening but uh, I'm going to take Jade out for dinner instead and um, kind of give her a little bit of a treat. She's been working hard as well this week. So that is kind of my evening. Nothing particularly exciting. Tomorrow, daytime, I may well go and do a little bit of fishing before I pick George up in the evening. I'm not sure yet. I've got to see uh, what his plans are for tomorrow because usually on Saturdays he has birthday parties um, which seem to be every single weekend. So I'll have to kind of check his schedule before I can plan mine which seems ridiculous, but unfortunately has become the way uh, in which these things work. Um, last night, England. Now, what did I say to you guys a few days ago? I told you, all they do is let you down. Um, all the time we've got a manager like Roy Hodgson, who is an absolute drip. Uh, the guy has got no personality whatsoever. I'm sure he's a very nice man, uh, and I'm sure his knowledge of football is impeccable. But for me personally, I think that England need to have uh, a coach with a personality. A coach that can pick up the team from a moralistic point of view, that can make them feel good, that can make them feel confident. Um, I mean, Harry Redknapp, I can't, just, I can't stand the man, but I do think that he would be a great England coach. Uh, much the same as Cluffy would have uh, been, but they never allowed it because he had too much personality. And that is the problem with the FA. They will never, ever pick anyone uh, who's got the remotest bit of personality because they like to just have a drone in there that, that just sings the song that they want them to uh, sing, so to speak. So, for me personally, that's kind of where I feel like the downfall is. We don't need a manager with tactics and all that kind of stuff because we've got good players. They're not the best players in the world. They don't uh, deserve to win it uh, based upon their their um, their kind of how good they are normally. But they deserve to do better than they do at the moment. And I feel all of that comes down to morale and man management confidence. Um, I don't think they really need to be told tactics, you know, they're, they're seasoned professionals, they just need to get out there, they need to feel good, they need to enjoy themselves, uh, and they need to uh, have, a good, have a lot of confidence as well. If you watch them last night, and um, even the other game, they just look like they've got no confidence, because there's so much pressure on them. You need a manager who can just take all of that pressure uh, and put it on their own back and not have it all on the players' backs. You know, you've got the, the wing backs, the right back, and the uh, left back, uh, shit scared to come forward because uh, they're worried about conceding a goal. Uh, you've got players like Henderson who are just sitting far too deep. It's all just, it's all confidence for me. Um, so that's my kind of uh, two cents on uh, the England football game. But what did I tell you? This is why I do not watch them anymore because they just cause you to have huge letdown. Um, you know, I, this this time around, I just I, it didn't bother me because I knew full well that they were going to get uh, put out in the group stage and that they would be totally shit. So uh, it didn't really bother me. But still, it's like a bit of a pain in the backside because you want them to do well. Um, you know, and for people like Steven Gerrard, who is his last World Cup, who really does try and put his all into these games, uh, regardless of how that turns out for him. Um, you know, it would have been nice for him to have a good World Cup, but. It is not going to happen. So that is that. Uh, I'll probably watch some of the other games though. It's much more enjoyable to not watch England and watch some of the other teams who are, who are actually half decent uh, with, with some decent management. But there you go. Uh, that is that. Ah, a couple of bits and bobs have turned up for me from this place, Angling Direct. And uh, let me see if uh, anything's of any interest. Hang on. Ah, first up here. We have, I've showed you guys my bed. This is the pillow for the bed. Look at the bloody size of it. So this just kind of uh, velcros in up um, 
up the top here and it's a huge huge pillow how cool is that I didn't realize it would be anywhere near um, as nice as that and in fact that bed that I've got that's fairly similar to mine but I've got the SS4 uh, is absolutely incredible when I've done the night on it uh, it really has been absolutely perfect uh, so comfortable so warm ah this is the other thing I ordered uh, which is all show all show also to do with it and this is the air shroud it's called um, and basically it's a waterproof cover that goes over the top of the bed but what you can do is you can pin one of these corners up uh, with a bank stick and you can just sleep under the stars uh, being a hundred percent waterproof now the last time I did the night with Gal um, our beds got extremely wet <laughs> uh, and no it wasn't because we were pissing our pants it was because the kind of water coming off the lake was absolutely insane um, and it's alright if you're inside a tent uh, it, the water just seems to come down directly downwards but when you're sleeping outside the top of your bed just gets really wet it's like condensation uh, only sort of five or ten times worse so this is the completely waterproof air shroud that will go over the top of my bed so when I sleep out under the stars uh, doing a night session then uh, my bed won't get wet so that's pretty cool and then here I've got another box from Angling Direct um, let me just open this up and again thank you to Chris for my uh, unboxing knife that he kindly sent me very very kind of you let's see what we've got in here and like I say I'm sure all of you who aren't into fishing find this ridiculously boring ah this is what I've got uh, these are riser pellets so basically these you, you throw these in and they kind of rise up at different uh, rates so me and Gal wanted to uh, try some of them out so Gal let me know what you think of those bad boys two bags of that and then also, and these are the things I was really looking forward to, um, my buzz bars are absolutely ancient and they're shit. So I've ordered these ones, and I don't know how if you can tell on this, but they are carbon fibre and stainless steel. And you guys know what I'm a sucker for in terms of build quality. These were ridiculously expensive for what they are, but look absolutely phenomenal and obviously will last an absolute lifetime. So pretty pleased. Um, with those as well anything else in there no that is it uh, in that one and as we come around here to this one I don't know what's in this package but it weighs a ton let's open it up hope there's nothing delicate in there that I've just sliced open ah now I know what this is um, Gal can probably tell from this I'll tell you what in fact while we're talking about that um, this is Vitalin dog food <laughs> and uh, this is what we use for ground bait found it completely impossible to buy in the shop but have managed to get it online and this is a huge 15 kilogram uh, bag um, I tell you what as well a lot of you guys when I say oh Gow is the only member of my family that watches my vlogs uh, Jade doesn't watch them George is not allowed on YouTube um, not not without supervision anyway and he so he doesn't watch them he watches Minecraft stuff <laughs> um, none of my other family watch it except for my brother-in-law so my brother-in-law Mike and Gareth are the only two members of my family that actually watch the vlogs but anyway that is my fishing haul of the day anyway guys that is it from me today I will be back with you tomorrow just waiting now for my neighbour to get in because a parcel was delivered there whilst I just popped out believe it or not right at the end of the day but anyway that is it have yourselves a great Friday night boys make sure you wear protection girls don't sleep with the boys and I'll see you in the next one peace